CS8792, Unit 2, Topic 9, Block Cipher, Design Principles Although much progress has been made in designing block ciphers that are cryptographically strong, the basic principles have not changed all that much since the work of Feastel and DES design team in the early 1970s. In this section, we will look at three critical aspects of block cipher design. They are number of rounds, design of the function and key scheduling algorithm. First, number of rounds. The greater the number of rounds, the more difficult it is to perform crypt analysis. So, crypt analysis pandradhukku, number of rounds adhigama irundhudhu apdina, and the crypt analysis pandradhu kashto. In general, criterion should be that the number of rounds is chosen so that known cryptanalytic efforts require greater effort than a simple brute force key search attack. This criterion was certainly used in the design of DES. So, DES a design pannabodhu, number of rounds vandhu adhigama vachindhanga. Nama already example paatha maadhu 16 rounds. So, idhala vandhu crypt analysis na enna na, namalodaya introder vandhu attack panni, namalodaya cipher text ala the plain text vandhu recover pannradhukku peyiridha crypt analysis. So, in the process pannradhukku vandhu, number of rounds adhigama irindhudhu apdhi na difficult on a crypt analysis a irukkou apdhi in sollu rao. Shainer observes, that for 16 round DES, a different crypt analysis attack is slightly less efficient than brute force. The differential crypt analysis attack requires 2 power 55.1 operation, whereas brute force requires 2 power 55. If DES had 15 or fewer rounds, differential crypt analysis would require less effort than brute force key search. This criterion is attractive because it makes it easy to judge the strength of an algorithm to compare different algorithms. In the absence of cryptanalytic breakthrough, the strength of any algorithm that satisfies the criterion can be judged solely on key length. Second, design of function. The heart of Feastel block cipher is function, which provides the element of confusion in a Feastel cipher. It must be difficult to unscramble. One obvious criterion is that f is nonlinear. The more nonlinear, the more difficult any type of cryptanalysis will be. A more stringent version of this is the strict avalanche criterion, that is SAC, which states that any output bit of an S box should change with probability half when any single input bit is inverted for all i and j. Although SAC is expressed in terms of S boxes, a similar criterion would be applied to F as a whole. This is important when considering designs that do not include S boxes. So, function and our design pannumbodhu, avalanche effect use pannitha pannurom, that is, one bit ikku, inor or bit vandhu nama change pannaporom. So, one bit a change pannnum apdina, whole input bit me vandhu change agum. So, that is the basic and this is the S boxes use pannro. 8 S boxes vandhu, nama DES design pannumbodhu, consider pannirukrom. Bit independence criterion that is BIC which states that output bit J and K should change independently when any single input bit is inverted for all I, J and K. So SAC and BIC in the end criteria won't have a confusion function a rumba strength and pan the key schedule algorithm. With any feastel block cipher, the key is used to generate one sub-key for each round. So, one round we have one sub-key generate. So, that's why we have a lot of benefit and strong algorithm build. In general, we would like to select sub-keys to maximize the difficulty of deducing individual sub-keys and the difficulty of working back to the main key. Adams suggests that at minimum the key schedule should guarantee key or cipher text, strict avalanche criterion and bit independence criterion. If you have any doubts, leave your doubts in the comment section. Thank you.